right. No, that was one of you. Unfucking believable. Nuktat hate lurk. There you go. I don't want Trust to hang out with you. Woo! What the fuck was that? I was reading chat. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. What the fuck is that shuffle? He just ran out of steam at the end there. Yeah. Not pronounced the way, but. Buna, 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 buna. I got you, shuffle. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, what is going on now? They're just not gonna let me escape. Uh... What is going on? This is this in Martha's room? What happened to our bathroom? This can't be real. Ugh, everything here looks filthy. Ugh. Oh, oh, disgusting. Ugh, I think I see my pills floating in there. Well, I guess it can't hurt to still take them. Ah! Oh, fuck! Gone. But, but that was Dory. Oh, what the fuck was that? I don't even... Fucking close the door in my face. Holy fuck, brother. The voicemail. Fuck that shit. What is that? Just a bag of trash, right? Oh, fuck! Am I missing something here? Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Oh. What's this? Didn't find this before. Hey. Fuck. Double fuck. Oh, I don't like the red lights. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, look at him. Oh, the margarita. The pepperoni. The cheese, uh, the super wedgie. Sir? Sir? Woo. Oh, Yahoo!
fucking close the door in my face. Thank you, Shuffle. I appreciate you making Twitch throw money, too. Can we just stop and see if these uh, covered mannequins or something are moving? Oh, my God. rules okay I'm gonna go chase down this son of a bitch one and two god damn it and now they're all taken Tracks lead into the water. Oh, fuck. Where'd you go from here? <gasps> I can feel something. A presence. They call bullshit kids run much faster than that. Oh, I agree. This is probably someone's dream. Nightmare, rather. What fucking place is this? Oh, no, no, no. Why did I look at it? Why did I look at it? Why? Anything outside of statues. And I think that's quite concerning. Oh, that thing that ran past me. There's some cult-like activity going on, I think, here. <laughs> Fucking jump so hard. I Fucking jump so hard. You what? You what now? Well, hello everybody. Welcome in. Welcome back to the third stream in Jugtober. Um, Jesus, excuse me. Um, it's Tuesday, the eighth. Um. Before anyone throws flack at me as if I'm just wearing a Twitch hoodie just because. This was actually brought uh, sent to me from St. Jude's. Uh, part of the Play Live uh, event that you all were super generous about. Um, so they sent this as well. So it's got the Twitch logo. It's got their St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and the Play Live event with the year on it. Um, Twitch logo and tax, and they also have the Twitch icon logo too. So it's pretty cool, and it's the best part. Nice and warm and comfy, and the hood covers it. <laughs> Usually it's difficult for me to find a hood that'll cover my massive squash on the top of my head. 
no, this is uh this is a nice welcome gift um the other day. Um trying to give it in terms of announcements, um So we don't have a super bunch to go over. Um, I did update the Jugtober command though. So now when you do Jugtober, look at that, pops right up so people could see what the hell the, uh, you know, the deal is with Jugtober and the different values. Then it goes away all by itself after, I think like, I think it did like 20 seconds. Maybe I should shorten that. <laughs> Jesus. Just by a little bit, I'm like, damn, that's up there for a long time. Although it's a bit hard to read at that size. Okay, no, thank you for telling me. Um, yeah, it's difficult to determine um, what the best size is for it. Um, so obviously, like, I have, I have a big monitor, but it's not going to come through on mobile very nicely. Um, where, oh, where, there it is. Um, um, um. Okay, uh, so we're definitely gonna lower that to like 12 seconds from 20. Um, I wonder if I can adjust. Oh no, I can adjust for now. It have to be through here. Um, I wonder if I don't know what the fucking dimensions of that is anymore. I think it was ten eighty nineteen twenty. So for laughs, ten eighty. 1920 saving it um let's see if it works again <laughs> that that has to be one of the funniest things oh my word perfect nailed it no changes necessary With 300, 300, okay, all right. So I, I do a test without it, like, all right, cool. Oh, that still is not good. Nope, no. All right, we have the height is definitely just fine. It would do 700, and then the width, let's do 500. There's probably a very easier way to do this, but now it's like off the page, so I have to move it too. Um, six hundred. How is that, Riz? Yo. What's up, big meanie? Welcome in, dude. Thanks for the bits. How did everyone, did everyone, could they, could they read that last night? That's better. I can read it on my laptop screen now. Okay. Good, 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 good. Um, I'm going to move it a little bit more to the left, though, because I want to have it kind of aligned over on the left. Sorry. Oh, that actually, that's fucking perfect. Damn. Okay, good. Save. Minimizing out of that. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> so I, I fixed that. Um, as you can see down at the bottom, broke the $400 figure. Uh, so I changed the TTS cooldown down from 10 minutes to 5 minutes. I did that um, yesterday morning. I was like, yep, doing it now. Just don't forget. Um, and I... Oh. Oh, wee, oh, wee. <laughs> oh, my God. 
That is that is one way to sing that song. <laughs> Thank you, Tree. Uh, okay. Um I'm trying to think of what else because I went through and I made a couple different changes. Oh, I changed out the um the channel trailers, both on the YouTube page, which has the one from January of this year, and then Twitch, which has the new one that I showed everybody last stream of the stream before. Uh I made that switch over. And oh, and then I switched over the new clip player, but it was still giving me the same problems as always. Where it's like, uh, eh, I'm just, just not gonna play anything. And I'm like, okay, I'll hit the refresh button for you. Assholes. Uh <laughs> anywho. That was my music. Oh, there we go. Is this going on? Is this stuff. Um So we're gonna play um we're gonna play some key mailer games tonight and the first one is uh it looks interesting and it's not my usual type of game where i would be like oh i'm gonna go ahead and put a you know request in for this key like this one was basically it was sent to me in an email um via key mailer and was just like hey we think you'd be interested in this so they just offered it to me and I was just like, oh, this actually looks pretty decent. Um, so it's by Long Play Studios. I don't know what else they've done. Oh, this is it. This is their game. Um, but that's cool. It looks like, so this just went 1.0 uh, on August 19th. So like a month and a half ago. It is an open world survival zombie roguelike. Uh, so Terminus Zombie Survivors is a 2D turn-based survival roguelike set during the zombie apocalypse. Excuse me. Each journey is unique and every decision can mean the difference between life and death. You brave hunger, cold, and the undead in order to reach the Terminus and find salvation. Um, so, I just want to make sure there's no content warnings or anything. No, so I'm assuming it's just a uh, a zombie ass game. So there'll be some decaying flesh, blood, or maybe there'll be swears. But I think there's always fucking swears on this channel. Um, I need, I forgot this is a long like, it's like a long uh intermission in the album, and I'm like, uh, I do like listening to this bit of the album, but. Uh, okay, so that's what we're going to be doing first. Um, but yes, um, I want to go over the schedule. That's the thing I need to do. Uh, so this week, I already discussed that we were doing Terminus tonight. And, uh, oh, Wheeler, thank you for the bits. Appreciate you. Um, so yeah, we're doing Terminus tonight, and then we're going to give a couple of tries out of Spider Mall. Apparently it's a short um, short horror experience that lasts 30 to 40 minutes each try, and there's apparently a lot of endings. Let's see, so, yeah, so it's called Spider Mall, and Spider Mall is from Ghost Dog Films. This is their only game in Steam, at least. Um, it's a positive, which is a 92% of the 38 user reviews are positive, which is really good. It came out December 12th of last year, um, so it's almost a year old. And it's an, it says, a night, of, uh, oh, a night of urban exploration goes wrong for Explorer X as he finds himself trapped in an abandoned shopping mall facing off against security guards and a giant hungry spider. You make the choices in this live-action body cam FMV game. Escape the mall or die trying. Yeah, it's an action FMV adventure survival horror in 1990s. Those are the tags. Um, yeah, there's no... No mention of any content warnings here either. So just your typical horror stuff that's not over-the-top ridiculous that will literally medically trigger people do not want. Um... Yeah, so we'll be playing that afterwards. And I just realized, I didn't look at the, uh, I didn't tell you what the 
reviews were like for Terminus. So Terminus, Terminus recently, last 30 days, has had 565 reviews, 93% for very positive. Hot damn. All-time reviews, 3,069 users, 94% of them said positive for another very positive. So I, I think I think we're in we're in good hands here. Uh so that's tonight. And then um Thursday, uh we will finally be playing Hollow Body. Even if it kills me, we're gonna play it. Uh and also we're gonna start stream that night uh at the three hundred dollar mark that we hit last stream. Uh, that unlocked me reading my horror short story that I wrote back in college. What was it was late 2009. Yeah, it had to have been late 2009. I don't think it would have been early 2010. Actually, no, it would have been early 2010. I just realized an episode that happens in my life during that. And that completely lines up. <laughs> um, anyways, so the, the task of the story in this class that I was in called Haunted Literature... Um, we were reading a lot of Edgar Allan Poe, like to just to start the curriculum out, like, hey, let's get to a bunch of his stuff. And then we're going to jump to other authors as well. And at the end, jump back and do some more. Um, like a month in, had to write, um, a, it was either an analytical piece, which ugh, not for me. I mean, it's, I'm sure people are really good at it. Go for it. I liked the creative approach, which was take an old Edgar Allan Poe story and reimagine it in modern times. So mine is um, a different point of view in terms of the, like the narrating character uh, of the fall, fall of House of Usher. So it's, uh, I'm excited to see what you guys think of it. Um, my professor gave me, I think in either A minors or something, Analytical, yeah, I'm sure you will, Wheeler. <laughs> um, shit, what is going on about talking with the analytical? <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, throughout the paper, she gave me like an A, I'm pretty sure it's an A minus, and she wrote on it. And I don't know where the original is. I swear I found... Oh my god, I did find it. Over here. Oops. I did find it. And I could see if I was lying. Oh my god, the pa like the edges of the paper are like yellow. Oh, that's the cover. Sick. Yeah, A-. minus. Fine, let me get this. Here. Here we go. A minus. There, oh, he, uh, everyone knows my name. I'm just, you know, avoiding dumb shit. Watch out for the phone number up there, too. Holy shit. <laughs> College that long ago? Leave me alone, Riz. I mean, I mean, look at the, you can tell, like, it's, it's fucking worn. <laughs> uh, yeah, her comments, I forgot that I wrote down a fucking phone. Not much older than me, homie. Well, hate to tell you, <laughs> it's been a while. Why can I not read her handwriting anymore? She wrote like a note in here. More than because she like analytically went through on everything and makes little comments here and there, like in the margins, which is actually it's all real good like feedback, not just like you spelled this wrong, this isn't grammatically correct, like doing the obvious part of the job. They're like, hey, I want to make sure like what I think about this and what you can do, but like. She really enjoys like part of it. I know she writes stuff in here, 
I'll have to go through it later. And then before I read it, I'll tell you some of the stuff that she said. But like, I know for a fact, verbally, I was talking to her when I, I had to hand it in late. And I only gave her my final draft. I didn't have the first draft to hand in. Um, I had a gallstone passing through my abdomen one morning. Don't know if anyone's had that feeling before. Um, do not recommend. Not even five out of seven. That's a solid zero out of ten. Um, I had to go to the ER and shit. And fortunately, it just kind of dissolved on its own. No problems, no surgery, nothing crazy. Um, but because of that, it totally threw off like my whole week. And I ended up missing the turn in for the paper. And I was like, damn it. I just turned the, I turned it in late. And I was worried I was going to get a shitty grade on it. But she liked it. And then when I went to go pick it up, um, she's like, I wrote some, like, you know, just, I wanted to make sure, like, I, I got my thoughts onto the paper for you, blah, 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 blah. And, um, like, if you decide you want to write another version of it or, like, you know, further edit it, um, I would challenge you to shorten it. Um, because apparently I was well over the assigned minimum. <laughs> I was like, oh, oops. Uh, sometimes I just get descriptive, uh, like, it's not, nothing like if anyone's read the Game of Thrones books, like, uh, no, no, no. I, I'm not going to tell you what everyone's Gooches smell like as the turkey comes out from the kitchen with all the golden bricks on the wall and the fireplace. Yeah. Thank you for painting the whole picture, George. It's been three pages about the room. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, uh, she said that she got a night. She had nightmares from it. And, um, I thought that was cool. Like that really kind of like it, it, Nice boost to the ego, if you will. Um, okay, we had to get rolling here. Sorry, I'm like reminiscing. <laughs> We're going to have another Dracula. No, tis the season. Cheers. Appreciate you all for being here. Oh. Should be illegal. Okay. Um, oh, wheel spin. That's what else we have to do once we finish up the schedule. So yeah, Thursday, hollow body. I read my story. Special Friday stream. Daytime Friday stream. Um, we passed one hundred dollar milestone. First stream. And that unlocked me playing Trenches again. Um, I had played it before. I think the last time I played was January of 2023, if that's correct. So almost two years. Um, and I, I, thinking back on it a couple of times since then, actually, uh, I, I've been like, I don't think I really gave that game a fair shake. Like, I was very much just like, okay, like, it's late. I just wanted to smush some time in here. And I Ugh. Ew. I think a popcorn kernel just fell out of my mouth. Yeah, gross. <laughs> Goddamn popcorn. Um, every time I'm on a roll with talking about stuff, something happens. Completely throws off my focus. Anyways. We're doing a wheel spin here in a moment. Uh, we have on Friday again, this is at 1, I didn't mention it's at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, playing trenches. So be there, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> uh, and then normal programming on Sunday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern, that's Alan Wake 2. Uh, I feel like we're really, really starting to make headway into that story. Um, some interesting stuff happened right towards the end of stream. So uh, I'm excited to get back into it for sure. We got a pretty busy week this week. Um, and as much as I want to jump right into it, Freebeard resubscribed. Don't know what that means. Uh, please. I had some real good luck last stream, so I think I'm due, I'm due for something bad. I'll take a pineapple habanero. It's hot. It's the hottest thing I've had all week. But, uh, not bad. Not bad. 
I'm not going to complain yet. Okay. Again, this is for Tree Beard. He got the pineapple habanero from Burke's Hot Sauce. And uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. the ingredients are pineapple, sweet Fidelia onion, red bell pepper, red habanero pepper, distilled vinegar, and sea salt. Yeah, this one is a lot more. Uh, it's less viscous if it's looser, right? And if it's like molassesy, it's more viscous. Am I saying that right? This would be a less viscous sauce than um, the gonzo sauces. Anyways, cheers. Hmm. Pineapple habanero just has always worked. This habanero, the amount of habanero that they use is just the right amount where, like, you really feel the heat of it, but not to the point where there's, like, severe pain and you're like, I'm dying. Uh, that and all the flavors of the pineapple, the onion, obviously there's some habanero flavor in there as well. It does have its own flavor. Um, mix isn't pretty good. I, I, I wish I could figure out shipping and stuff because I feel like... I would hook I would hook up with um really either of these hot sauce makers and just be like, here, there's a web store, go to it, use my fucking or something like you know, like a sponsorship essentially. Um because I totally do it. You know, some people actually enjoy hot sauces of all different styles and I think some of you may be into them. Or at least someone you would like to empathize, empathize with me and order some of the hot ones and be like, all right, let's see what this is all about. Wow. <laughs> um, oh, shit. And I just realized that's thing. Um, noticing another thing I don't like about stream at the moment. It's always happened. Um, that needs to come down a wee bit if that's possible. Fine. Same thing with the number. Boop, boop, boop. One more up. Yes, that pixel mattered. I don't want to hear about it. Okay. Um, so if you if you haven't remembered or haven't seen this in a while, this whole deal has changed. When we reach 30 subs, that number hits 30. I do an extreme wheel spin dun, dun, dun. uh and we're at 21 right now so in nine subs regardless of what type of sub it is um boom <clears throat> okay cool 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 um I don't have anything else written down for any other spins that I owe, so I'm pretty sure we're up to speed. But I think it's time for some Terminus. Yes, I'm a rookie survivor. Okay. Choose the occupation you want to play. Okay. Soldier, firefighter, or police officer? Zombie Slasher. Optimized for killing zombies with high combat stats. Get a fighting knife to start off. Unique perk is combat instinct. Melee attack damage increase. Okay. Initial stats. Strength and health are up there. Observation is zilch. Combat is five, like legendary. Not agile. Not dexterous. It has three extra points that I can assign. Okay. So I, okay, so I could still give like a point to agility, two to dexterity, or whatever to know. <clears throat> Firefighter. But, oh, and let me know if this music is too loud. I've had to turn it down once before. I have no problem with doing it again. Uh, it's a veteran rescuer. They are adept at using tools to save others. Starting item is a fire axe. That's pretty fucking cool. 
Uh, unique perk is rescue expertise, condition reduction of axes and crowbars. That's cool. Uh, four for strength. So, and that's more than um, soldier. Same thing with health. One observation point, one combat point, one agility point, one dexterity point, and then three extra points. So, like, you could you could do do some real damage with those three points. Location information. There's the locations of all fire stations. Wait, what does he have? Nothing. All right, police officer. Marksman. They can kill zombies from a long distance with accurate shots. Starter item is a pistol. Six rounds of ammunition. She uses bullseye hit chance if the... Oh. Basically, the, uh, the hit chance goes up. Okay. No strength. Health is kind of there. Observation is way up there. Combat's way up there. Agility has a point. No, not dexterous. Has extra points. Those locations of all police stations. I feel like that's important, regardless of who of those three I pick. Because you're able to get to those locations to get guns. But are guns the best thing to have? The zombie apocalypse. Answer. Kind of both. Depends on the situation. Bird. Zombies? I'd be using. I knew there's more nearby. You gotta go with your melee stuff like these two. You gotta be quiet, quick, and then move. But now against other humans, the guns probably come up uh, and they're much more important. But I think I want to start off as a firefighter. You use points to set stats and traits, okay. Stacy! She's a beach. I don't know if I like the I don't know if I like Stacy with it, just an I though. Can we just we had an E? We do that. Oh no, no, no! Actually, there we go, Stacy. <laughs> Which one would it be? Actually, that's pretty cool. So the most you can get for anything is five, it looks like. So when your strength is high, you can easily carry more things. For every seven units of inventory weight, move AP is increased by 10%. When your health is high, you can do a lot more actions with each turn. Ooh. Recovers 11.5 AP per turn. Observation. When your observation is high, you can see further. The invisibility is 3.6 at this level. Combat. When your combat is high, you can attack zombies more effectively. Attacks deal 120% of their weapons damage, and that's just a level one. Agility. When your agility is high, you can move faster and better avoid attacks. Move AP decreases by 5%, and there is an 8% chance to avoid attacks. Whoa. Dex dexterity. When your dexterity is high, crafting speed and the results durability are increased. Perhaps very low durability items. Oh, God. Interesting. So they, uh... They make this real interesting. Uh, I'm going to go with agility for a point for sure. Um, combat. I don't know how much I'm going to be crafting. I want to see further. Or max on strength. That'd be nuts. Increasing on health is actually pretty big, too. I bet you from three to four, that's pretty big. Let's do that. Okay. Now we select traits. Not enough points. Oh, interesting. So I have an alcohol preference. Gain double morale boost when consuming alcoholic beverages. Gain double morale boost when smoking cigarettes. Gain double, mor gain double morale boost when consuming coffee. Huh, what would you find more of? I feel like you'd see coffee more often than not. And I say this <clears throat> because what we're going to find more than anything in terms of buildings are probably residential homes. Could you find alcohol in a home? Maybe. Could you find cigarettes in a home? Maybe. Can you find coffee in a home? 
more than likely. So that's what I'm going with. I could be way off on that, but fuck it. Gameplay settings. Uh, standard difficulty that provides balanced challenges for most players. Default difficulty level. Even Yep, perfect. And I just want to see the differences. This is resources are abundant. Zombies are fewer in number and weaker. Resources are scarce. Zombies are more numerous and stronger. And resources are extremely scarce. An overwhelming number of strong zombies. Holy shit. Permadeath option. Enables permanent death with this option enabled. Your score will increase by 1.5 times upon game completion. Interesting. I think for now we'll keep it off so that way I could I could have recent saves. I like I like how there's the option to do both as well. And scenarios. Default game scenario recommended for players who want to experience a classic zombie apocalypse. Infected zombies are attacking people. Sites collapses. Supplies are running out. Many people have died or become zombies, but some survivors have gathered all at Terminus and are waiting for other survivors. It's out of stock. The situation took a turn for the worse. There was a long line of people trying to get things in the shopping district. At first, there was nothing unusual, but then when things started to run out, fights broke out everywhere over the remaining items. Meanwhile, some people broke windows and began looting stores. Their actions were initially criticized, but only briefly. Over time, many people joined on the looting, and now there is very little left in the stores. 90% of the furniture in special places, place except for houses, is empty. Most doors and windows in special places have been broken. Items found in houses have been increased by 10%. Interesting. Then there's crowd. City's tall buildings and bustling streets were once symbols of prosperity. The streets were full of people taking walks, shopping, and talking. But as infected zombies started to spread, symbols of prosperity became a measure of downfall. Each crowd of people that used to roam the city have now become the city's huge zombie crowd. <clears throat> as dangerous places have tripled. Oh my. And finally, frozen zombies. The weather has abruptly gotten cold with the zombie breakout. As all the social activities ceased, the world became colder more quickly. And people died, isolated by the unexpected coldness. Endless snow covered traces of people's lives before the breakout, only leaving the silence in the world. One optimistic thing about it is that zombies were frozen too. Starting temperature decreases by 36 degrees Fahrenheit. The game starts with accumulated snow and snow comes more often. Zombies attack and action power become half. Interesting. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with just Sanctuary, of course, the vault. Oh, you can enable sandbox settings, huh? Interesting. Cool. Maybe we can start. Let's go, Stacy. Ooh, Skewy. Almost nothing can be done at night without visibility. Be sure to get a lighter or a flashlight. Good point. So much attack people, your house is still safe, but electricity and water have been cut off, and there are a few supplies left. In last communication, we learned that the surviving people have gathered in Terminus. Arrive at the Terminus safely to survive. Tip you get a radio list to the broadcast or follow railroad tracks to find out where the Terminus is located. This game so much. Good luck. Thank you, dude. The game has four main panels information panel, character panel, action panel, and menu panel. Check the information panel in the top of the corner for the current time, location, information, weather. Day one, daytime, six o'clock. One hour passes with each turn. Sunset. It. Hours. Any forty hours till sunset. At night, visibility decreases, temperature decreases, and zombies become more aggressive. Our place is house. Weather is clear, fifty degrees. Okay. Difference. Statistics. Oh, okay. Uh, next, check the character's condition, details, experience, stats, and traits. The character panel in the bottom of the corner. You can see more details by hovering over each item. Also, you can check the items 
character has by clicking the inventory button, which is I. There. What's in my inventory? Oh, the fucking axe, that's what. Change the name. Firefighter, no special condition. Back of effects. My hit points are at 20. Action points are at 20. The, uh... Hunger. That's effectively what that is. <laughs> I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that one. Because that could be satiated. Is it satiety? Um, that's trending downwards, but currently 25. Hydration is going down. Energy is up at 20. Morale is up. going down at 20. Oh, that's how much move APs. Skills 59. Nighttime visibility 0 0.5. Yeah, fuck no. Attack power is 140. Stats. Cool. Alright. Uh, there are buttons to give commands to the character in the action panel in the bottom right corner. When you first start the game, there are only five buttons. Move, attack, craft, cook, and sleep. More action buttons will be added as you require tool items as you progress through the game. So, turn to move mode. With move mode on, you can move by clicking on the tile you want to move to. Uh, attack mode. When attack mode is on, you can attack by clicking on a tile with zombies on it. There's no target to attack. Thank goodness for that. Craft and dismantle items. There are dish using your ingredients. Sleep while sleeping over your energy and morale. Break furniture. Make materials by breaking furniture. No furniture in the current tile. Uh, force open a locked door window. Current tile doesn't have a door window to force open. Turn player. Other survivors and zombies. And then I can, and then I end the turn. Okay. Got it. Menu, help, and map are in the menu, menu panel to the top right corner. You can click on the map button to see the full map or click help button to read. Okay, so here's the whole map. You know where the fire stations are. They're, of course, super spread out. Uh, here we are, so that's the closest one for sure. Um, three dangerous places. It's where a large building used to be before the apocalypse. Zombies are pouring out of this place. Zombies are added to the surrounding places. The place cannot be visited. Wow. And then the other two fire stations. You can add notes to places too. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Close that. Back to those settings. Good. Glad that exists. Oh, help thing. Huh. Lots of places to check out, too. Got to find Terminus, though. All right, next. Uh, finally, there are two bars with your character, getting your HP hit points and AP action points. End the tour. Find useful items by searching for your current AP. Or after six. Crafting recipe book for every 40 pages to read, you learn one of the following recipes in order. Crude arrow, repair kit, long knife spear. Okay. 40 total pages. Oh, I see. Page currently 0% red spot the whole book. 
five pages in AP, 0 0.2 weight. Got a cooking pamphlet. I can make cooked lobster. Five pages per AP. Okay. Over here. Have two more for this. Ooh. Antidepressant uses using it gives the following effect. Morale plus 1.5 last six hours. Break this five zero point one weight. Medium value. It weak antidepressant using it gives the following effect. Plus one for four hours. Rainco, wearing it gives the following effects. Defense 0 0.3, water resistance plus 96%. Condition is currently 94. Durability is very low. Number is 1.8. Can I pick this plank up? There we go. Be used to reinforce a door window, hammer required, or as a single use weapon. Got in this one. Best of your bag. Medium sized shoulder bag, ideal for light loads and daily use. Capacity 10, weight, weight 40%. Condition's not so great. Got a medium durability, though. Cardigan, wearing it gives the following effects temperature increases a bit, defense goes up. Condition's not so great, durability's very low. More antidepressants as well. Here. Map used to check information about nearby places. Yes, please. Guidebook for every 20 pages you read, you get location information of a nearby gas station. Nice. Uh, F left here. 6.1. Oh, no point in searching that. That. Oh, no. Damn. Guess we can't really do much or anything else. Make a skewer or wooden needle. Mend or make clothing. It's for cooking, one time use item. That's all I can make so far, I guess. Oh, I don't have any knife. Any knife? Yeah, it's okay, never mind. It's only because I found the wood. <laughs> um. Just wear the cardigan. How do I put it on? I don't want to dismantle. I'm also in crafting, that's probably why. You have nothing. Okay, um, inventory, here we go, okay, put on, And on top of the cardigan, we got our raincoat. <laughs> there. Now I was able to actually use some... One point one AP left. Yeah, I... 
I can move. Or just not. I think I'll just move right. And that's my turn. Alright. Our turn again. Ooh. Got a crowbar. Open locked doors and windows if used the weapon. Force open. Damage 2.5 to 3. Head attacks negative 25. Body attack negative 25. Leg attack plus 50%. No proficiency, no extra damage. Additions a little less than half. A low derp. Not too heavy either. Adrenaline shot. Using it gives the following effect. AP plus 10 causes a headache. Vitamin drink. Drinking gives the following effects. Satiate, satiety. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. Plus 1. 10 hydration. 6 energy. Fresh bread. It gives the following effects. 1. Freshness does matter. I'm stale after 77 hours. No. All right, real quick. I I need to see how that word is pronounced. It's blowing my mind. Satiety. Satiety. Okay. Got it. Cool. So anyways, the satiety. <laughs> Over here. Just search anyways. I mean, there's probably nothing in here. Oh, there is stuff. It's just going to go stale after 58 hours of fresh tomato. Fresh onion. Mmm. Got some soju. Causes drunkenness. Oh, shit. Vitamin drink. Clean water. Love all of that. I can move the camera here. Oh, that's all I can do. All right. Oh, I see. So it's five degrees cooler outside. Okay. That's all I can do this turn. I think. Where are the books? Oh yeah. The one AP. Shit. Okay. I have to remember that so I can start reading up on stuff, especially this guidebook. Twenty forty. Okay. All right, all right. Used to make primitive tools and weapons. Bet you can.
Let's head this way. Fuck it. Required to move is 10. Oh, God. I guess I'll just go around the house here. Four point seven. Got that way. All right, now I can actually remember to read something. Take a crack at the gas station. That could be real important. Oh, okay. Dig all of that. Oop. Turn. Another place to go to. Oh, Steak. have that much AP so I can't. Instead, I'm gonna read. Uh, let's do two. I'll do a crafting recipe book. Oh, whoops. I book. Right. We're moving. Discovered the house. Another house? At 4.6. Uh oh. This isn't good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Really done fucked myself this time. I could still use it as a weapon, I think. I don't know what the combat system is like, but I'm about to fucking find out. Hardly moved. Oh. Attack! Oh, look at this. That's cool as fuck. We're right for the head. Oh! <laughs> Got him. Pick up a rag. Cover a window. It can be broken down into threads. Okay. Steel pipe. Hello. Oh, I don't have enough. That's okay. We're inside the building. We're good for now. Um, can I read, what can I read one thing? Get that done. I can't. Welcome back everybody from our, uh, ad break. Sorry, those have to exist. 
doing pretty good here. We just killed our first zombie. Gas lighter. Lighter with more capacity than a regular lighter. It can make fire. Possible actions. It can kindle. Gas two. Ten maximum. I'm enough to be. I don't know how much gas takes to make a fire. Hopefully it's one or two. Let's make a trip over here. Bookcase. Cooking pamphlet for fish and chips. Delicious. Crafting recipe book. Fruit arrow, small flashlight, and a snare trap. Oh. That bank up as well. Ooh. It's not for the search. That's all we could do after that. Sling bag, a lightweight shoulder bag for carrying small essentials, capacity eight. Five, we have a what's another uh bag. Put it on my other shoulder. Oh. <laughs> Weak medicine. Okay. There's um but one point oh nine for move AP now because I have so much shit. Cumbrance four point five. Some of the cumbrances of all clothing worn is it increases move and attack AP increase. And or more you'll be over encumbered. You can't put more clothes on. Move and attack AP plus nine. This is looking good. Alright. Nothing else to do with point one. There was another survivor I just saw there. A name popped up. Start a fire. Yeah. Sick. Ah. Zombie guts? Dirty Guts of the Dead, a disgusting spell can disguise living sense. Oh. Yeah, we'd be taking that. Another door there? What the? I don't have... The room to get I don't have the power to get both of these or either of them for that matter. So read more info on that guidebook. Fuck yeah. plus one like 20 okay uh, I don't drink the soju until I get home yeah I, I think we eat I think we drink this we're not super hungry yet and this will also do a plus one for it but and drink Last bottle empty. Yeah, all right, we'll hold on to it for now. Hydration is full. It is at night. Sick. It was that turn. 
Other survivor's turn is dead. Okay, I thought I said like Olivia or something. I was like, what? You want? All right, this dried meat. Eating it gives the following effects: PD plus ten, jerky, pepper, ground pepper that can be used in various dishes. Sick. More clean water. Oh, it's in the fridge. Get some fresh bananas. They're gonna go soon in a day and a half. More soju. More clean water. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, we did already check that. Otherwise it would say not checked. I think that's that's it. More rooms here it looks like. Then we need to start heading back, because it's we have six hours till sundown. Wanna go home now? I guess, do I have to sleep at this house? Oh, the, okay, I see what that does. Never mind. If I do like that, that's pretty cool. I actually wanted the map. Oh, it's W. Okay, so it's not like our house, it's just a house. Got it. I could have I could have stayed at that house and yes, I've been Okay, we're learning. Unfortunately there's no fucking door around here except for over here. We'll make it in there before sundown though. Problem. that window up that's good and we can read one book I learned how to do some of this soon <laughs> fish and chips sounds like more realistic I don't know if I'd be able to find lobster anywhere okay and then Won't drink that. Oh, I like how the numbers there, like how much time we have until it goes bad. Let's eat this banana. Uh. Why not? Another banana. Alright, everything else we can just chill with for now, I think. sunset. Yep, sunset's in three hours. I like how it said that. 
Um, yeah, I'm just I'm gonna spend all this time basically reading. Just like, why the fuck not? Put all APs into it? Oh, shit. Arrow, sick. We learned how to make fish and chips. I already know this recipe. Ain't gotta carry it anymore. Does it for that turn? Air kit, sick. Oaked lobster has been done. Really like that small flashlight, please. Okay. End of another turn. Just about sunset. Uh, we'll go ahead and do more reading. Some light reading, you know. Small flashlight's been created. Or I we're gonna make it. Inner trap and long knife speed next. This one up real quick. No other location this kind of place. Alright, cool. That's done. Oh, interesting. know about that All right, we got 3.3 left uh, long knife spear snare crap the long knife spear okay and the turn it is sunset Like this very much. Oh, just gonna sit here and read in the candlelight, I guess. Done. Almost. One more turn. Drop that. I'm going to eat this tomato. We're gonna uh, drink some Sojuko. Drink until hydrated. Put 
reduces AP recovery and hit chance by 8% each. Hopefully it wears off soon. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna do that again. Oh yeah. In the world. Jesus Christ. It, Splash Mountain won't be very fun at all because Splash Mountain doesn't exist anymore. Come on now. Hydration's going down. Oh, I should be waking up. Oh! I went to bed way too early. It's two in the morning. Give it base, Splash Mountain. What's the difference? Oh, Lord. This isn't good. I didn't realize how short of a time... I didn't realize how early it was still. Uh, okay. Um... I guess we'll just sit here and drink. I don't know if there's much I can really do here. Unless you want to go to, to go somewhere. Damn it. Identified a house. Oh, we can force open. Sleep on a couch right here, too. All right, and turn. Searching denim jacket, a little bit hotter. Defense 0 0.8, 91 condition, very high durability. That's denim Dan. Cigarette. Nice. So if my rail is super low, I can use that. And a windbreaker. Hell yeah. Reading gives the following effect. Morale plus 2 AP. The more you read, the less effective it becomes. And crafting recipe book for a slingshot and a lantern. some time reading I guess
Oh, this window was opened? Interesting. Right there, I don't know if this room opens up here or not. Extra survival and grain of the body is useful skill for survival. The survival skill you want to acquire. I can hit next level for condition reduction of axes and crowbars. Lowers the temperature threshold for each increase by three Fahrenheit. Morale decrease per turn, negative 10%. Oh. I think rescue expertise. That's bad thing. Oh. Bible reading gives the following effect: doubles when inside a church. Good to know. All this stuff I can pick up off the ground too. They just haven't grabbed some dummy. Here we go. Daytime we can see now. Oh, there's two of them. It's head protected. He's good at body attacks? God damn it. Alright, swing for the legs, I guess. Oh my god. Oh, damn it. That's super funny. Okay. This isn't good because there's another one right there. Pick this up. I move right here. I'm out of his sight so he won't see me. Let's do a quick read. Attack! Oh, this thing's fucked. Causes a disease. 50% more condition loss? Why? Stupid. Slice him. See ya. Another one? Alright, fucking kill this one too. Helmet zombie, because of course it is. What's my good leg attack? 50?
Nice. I thought that was going to go bad, and it went fine. Heard a fire making tool. Dexterity affects the success ch chance. Possible actions kindle. But oh, the condition's super shitty. That's cool. I have disease. Why do I have disease? Is I not supposed to attack that one? Um, hold up. How do I remove disease? Be a goner. Doesn't look good, kids. Every round that goes by, our HP goes down by one, our EP gets less. Why don't just fucking eat away, pal? We should head to the gas station. This way. Top right. Okay, we shall read. Well fed, well hydrated, content. <laughs> Other house. There is blood here. Or it open, bitch. I can't have the AP. Put the slingshot down. Nothing. Guess that was bound to happen at some point. Good for that turn. Flash shard.
to you, bro. Another Bible. I will do a quick little read. Army base stew. But I'll never get to have any of it. Fuck, there's another one out there. <laughs> Meat pie. Oh, but I can read again. Leather gloves. Goes on. Blanket. Sweater. See ya. Brat pedal. Oh. Didn't go into this room yet. Oh, because it's not cooked, it's raw. Okay. It's also stale. <laughs> that done? Sip, 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 sip. I don't need that meat. Good. And, uh, we'll read the book again. Need to go outside and like venture around to the other areas in the house. Wrap plastic over here. Stick. I how to get the fuck rid of this disease. Get ready for a place to sleep.
could still read one more chunk of page. This should be good. Plenty of ways out if I need to. Two windows are covered. No one can see me in here. All the doors are closed. Can't lock them or anything. Uh, oh, don't end the turn. Got some reading to do. Got the lantern done. Sick. Make some more food. Reading of each. Shift again. Interesting. Fishing bait, fertilizer. Damn, I still don't know how to, uh... It's gotta be some way... Oh wow, the lantern. 12 electronic parts. Armor, oh, glass, correct. How do I get rid of disease? God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Can't really cook anything right now because it. I have everything I need. I have a pot, skewer. It is sundown. Officially nighttime. Weak medication. Increase the HP a bit. Nothing else to read. Half though. Tunnel? October is cool and all, but I prefer Jerktober, although the chafing is a bitch. Fair enough. I'm not taking part this year. <laughs> Last year was very rough. How you doing, Frantic? <clears throat> it's 
Still got the indentations from last year, huh? Yeah, I do. on and get ready for sleep. Have some bread. Have this vitamin drink. on to the soju. Let's <clears throat> <clears throat> end the turn. Full AP off of it, I guess. break that furniture yet. as well on to the rest I suppose tell me how do I get rid of the disease <laughs> All used AP is compared to. Oh. In a certain amount, you can acquire survival skill. Rental. Okay. I'll make sure I kind of sleep through the night. <laughs> oh, I'll go to sleep.
I'm recovering from the disease by sleeping. I no longer feel diseased and it's seven o'clock. Holy fuck. Let's go. Time to have some breakfast. I still can't cook anything. I thought I had a skewer. Ew. What the fuck? It says I don't have a skewer. That's, I believe that is incorrect, sir. Oh, it's crafting, not ready yet. Oh. Causes infection, oh. Fuck. I don't have a tool to keep doing that. Let's see, what else can I possibly do here? coffee beans. Lot to choose from here. Interesting. Uh, I kind of want to make a vegetable skewer just so I can know what it looks like. So why don't we go outside and the door will come over here. Hold. Yikes. Uh, I'm no longer old. Okay. Covered, yes. Here. Start a fire. vegetables just fucking fresh onion and add some pepper in here and it's oh it's an apple I thought it was a tomato at first it's not too bad onions and pepper soup not enough HP EP uh, handle this I have a headache. This is AP recovery, sleep quality, and reading speed by 20% each. Oh, that's okay. Now we can cook. Mm 
Mm -hmm. That was delicious. I don't think I even ate it yet. Oh, there it is. Fresh cooked vegetable. All of that. Some dried meat. Well fed. Got some sips of water. Plug, plug, plug. Causes a severe headache. Well, I don't want any of that. Time for us to move on. Remember where the fuck I'm going. Top right. Just sleep through the clap. Oh my god. A library. Fuck, we heading west, brother. Fuck. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Time to die. Oh, he has a screwdriver. That's nifty. Yo, kittens, what's up? Oh no, did the bird thing not work? is end task boom now I'll punch touch good Stepping sure works. I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pack. All right, sorry about that, kittens. I'll be sure to get you your points back because otherwise, that's silly. Fucking zombie right there. Sick. He's slow. Right 
there. Police officer zombie wide vision. Oh, fuck. Okay, just took two that time, that's all. That up. Which encounter? Fresh tomato. That up. We got a lighter. Let's go. We'll take that. Map fragment. Torpedo the map location. Several places are marked. Near the location of military base, library, house, and checkpoint. Map fragment. Oh, nice. Radio with built-in speaker falling effect. Assumes 10% charge. Get information from the terminus. Charge 45% can be used four times. Broke in. That's pretty crazy. That's that's good stuff. I don't think I can use it right now though, right? I don't know if that's work or not. Doesn't let me do it. We'll see what happens with that. <clears throat> oh, fresh coffee. Let's go. Fill up. Take, take. When you finish it, you acquire the following survival skill survival cooking. Give the cooking results. It's pretty cool. Crafting recipe book. Get a bird trap. Bird trap. Thought I've been having issues with my own stuff. Yeah, it's it's always something, huh? <laughs> this side of this wardrobe. Another sweater. Aim killers, ignore status ailments, last six hours. Jacket. I think I need that clothing. Wait, can I like... Look, if I now go here, can I break these apart? No. Damn, I think we will be able to tear it up or something. something while we're waiting. Umbrella. Protect from rank abuse weapon. 
<laughs> okay. Right. Um, pretty good here. Library. Military base. Checkpoint. I check out that library. I think is this one? The left of the bottom? Yeah, okay. Oh, there's another zombie up there. Nimble zombie, good reflexes. I have no point in attacking him. I also can't move. Oh, repair broken electronics. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. That's fun. the library small gas can stick I'm gonna try to fix this oh no 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 nice sweet there it is That can max out rescue expertise. My night type visibility can go up with cat's eye or plus 20 percent damage when melee attack in the head. Oh, well. <laughs> I wasted all that AP because I never picked this up. I just wasted that move something else. Makeshift from the fishing rod? Let's go. Search it. Didn't you require the following survival skill head strike? But I just got that. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Helicopter flight manual. A. Okay. I came here for two things. To suck some hard candy Easy. and suck, suck some, some dicks. dicks. <laughs> What's up, Shuffle? <laughs> well, given my friend. I don't even know where all the fire stations are. Fishing it gives the falling effect increases agility stat by one. Okay. Advanced repair kit and axe. And how are we today, Shuffle? Fast learning, okay. Increased experience by 20%. Sharp ears, minus 1% minimum of audible sounds. And just another novel. We have a few things to be looking at. 
Oh boy. Hello there. Hello there, Messi. What's up? How are things? Hope you're doing well. Set in one hour already? Well, we got. We're gonna be up all night in this here library. Guidebook. For every 20 pages you read, you get location for nearby clothing store. Okay. Sharp ears, heads. Ah. Holy fucking books, dude. Always five pages per scene. Now we'll get closer to the clothing stores, I suppose. Day my head just had to ache so bad I almost evacuated my lunch. Oh no. I just started feeling better a little bit ago, so I'm ready for some Doug. Oh good. Well I'm glad you're feeling better. We're just uh we're playing some terminus game. Um Oh boy. That's not good at all. Just attack it. Zombies out of sight when attacking zombies. There's not in sight. Zombies HP is not shown. The hit chance is greatly reduced. I know you can make a fire turn on the light to see them. Okay. Well, why don't you tell me that beforehand? Fuck it. No, go with what we know. Please die. Oh, thank God. Oh. Do not anticipate that asshole just be there. Also, didn't realize there was a table right there. I'm super silly. Oh, I can make dumplings. Small flashlight. Ooh. You just drink all of that water, please. Boat handling. Got it. Let's keep searching. Electronic stores? Uh, dude, we found the fucking mother load. I already have a street map. Volume 4 of helicopter piloting skill? Meat pie, I already learned how to make that. Lean attack, negative 50% weapon tool condition decrease when attacking. Okay. Another volume four, I don't need that one. Gotta fucking fix this radio. You can tell me where Terminus is. Oh god! Uh, let's eat them. 
MP3 player. 27% charge. Put your morale up a little bit. Fucking take it. Where's that electronic store? Oh, it's knocking on the window. Shit. I should have covered it up. Advanced repair kit, okay. Can I do something now with it? Um, I don't think that's going to be very helpful. Can't really hit him. Isn't in sight. I mean, I can try here. Oh, I can actually hit him. Okay. Cool. Problem solved. Cover his ass up. Might be some more another thing there, but make these dump. I can learn how to make dumplings real quick. <laughs> Cardigan is almost worn out. Oh no. Yes. Six houses, three railroads, a library, park, restaurant, and clothing store. Fuck yeah. Another lighter. up volume two i don't think i have that one but to find out though two two oh we did that already up Oh, for fuck's sakes. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Not missing. Fuck, it didn't work. Cover it. Walk away. Maybe I get lucky and get away with that. <laughs> Jug of what? Question. But how much more do I have to get? What, do I have to get down to zero to make the radio work? Oh, he didn't give a fuck. Alright. 
Jug hat filled with hard candy. Iron, reduce AP for every three Low energy. All right, there's nowhere, no real where to sleep. I'm gonna sleep in this corner at the table. My God, calm down. Well fed and hydrated, time to sleep. Tired out here. I am well rested. Oh, fuck, I hit the wrong button. Wait, I just stood there for an hour. <laughs> okay. Some ramen. Breakfast. Sippies. Smoke a cigarette. Hold on to it. Accidentally doing nothing for an hour is such a mood. <laughs> it really is. You know, spacing out into the void counts as something. Yeah, oh, it does. 100% does. Okay. We gotta figure out which way to go now. Oh, look. The railroads, they all connect. It said to follow the railroad. Uh. Now to get you to Terminus. Assuming tunnel is part of the railroad. I want to go to an unidentified. I want to go to an unidentified place, though. Oh right, I have to fucking go here first. That. Uh. Pharmacy. Well. <laughs> Oh, well, hi. And nice to see you too. Shit. Ow. I know there's more stuff down there. I just, meh. Really want to go fucking pharmacy. A rat trap? Where's the fucking door?
I'm fucking wrecked. Can't fight that right now. I'm going to take this time to sit here and work on my screwdriver. I mean, my radio. So move one spot. There we go. Perfect. My fire axe. Oh. Oh no, steel pipe was broken. Shift armor. Last door, Jesus. car broken a little bit of fuel fuel needs to move between adjacent plate capacity missile suppressor sweater tote bag weak antidepressant Of shit. Say his name Jesus and Christ. he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. There he is. What's up, Heavy? Riz. <laughs> Game killers and sleeping pills? Jesus. I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. Satan. What's up, dude? Zombie. Zombie. A zombie. What's up, my guy? How are you? How about them Bruins? Ha <laughs> kill me. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. The fuck is up, my guy? Dork out. It's all dork sighted. Another radio. 
taking a look at it. Wait, this radio just works? Use one time? Okay. We're at the terminus north of the city. If there are people alive, please come here. Each of the place is 9.8, 3.3. There's zombie survivors. We've stocked up on food and medicine. We've got a solid defense to protect us from zombies. If there are people alive, please come to the terminus. 9.8, 3.3. I want to put it right in the map for me. Where is it? It's way up there. Brother. Proper hockey team is indeed. Hoping you could steer me in the proper direction as well as a Kings fan. I've been struggling. <laughs> Check here. It's over there. Police station. Right, we should probably go check that. Plus, we'll make our way north from there. We don't have to follow the railroad anymore. There's also more stuff to do here. Oh, and it's also, you know, night out too. I can't travel at night. Bad things happen. morale doing we'll just read from my morale book there we go energy's doing great batteries Oh, do you all like the name of my person here, by the way? Stacy. I'm gonna watch the Sombers about this fucking crazy hurricane and this mask and you're all just making cry in a few years. At least the Kings found a way to move that PLD contract. That's true. Nothing useful. Uh, what a surprise. Alright. Oh, I hit the wrong fucking button. Weak medicine. Another bench you can sleep on. I think I already have leather gloves on. Almost positive. Yeah. I can search all the sections of the desk. Well, almost. Potent medicine. Oh, shit. I do that. Small flashlight. Sick. Um, shall read. Over that window. More painkillers and antidepressants. Energy drink, let's go. Oh. That book I was.
Put medicine in the fridge. Love to see it. That window. Peak antidepressant. Just sleep in here. No way to get in those two windows. Good. One in the morning. In terms of in. I'm going to spend a little time uh, Everything causes a fucking headache Christ Reading here Still trying to fix that piece of shit to get any more information. I think this is where we do a CPCP. -CP. It won't be too long. My energy's at 12. This will just get me through the rest of the evening. in a minute here. Perfect. Right at 6 o'clock. Oh, you fucking idiot, Tim. What, nigga? Wake up and drink an energy drink. Food. Should have put that trap out. Gotta leave pronto. Denim on. Oh, I'll do some reading then. Actually, no. Fuck you. I'm gonna fix this fucking radio. It's the last thing I do. <laughs> the police station. Oh, hey, bud. If you get caught in the rain, you'll get what as much as AP used. If you end your turn outside, a large amount of winters will be added. The winters will reach gradually decrease if you don't stay in the rain. Those prevent from being one to reduce the level of it by using items. For instance, oh, my umbrella's already up. Sick. Let's kill this fucker.
Evans just opened up out there. Windbreaker, water resistant. I already have one. Imagine a person standing under an umbrella beating their zombies ass gives me a heck of a giggle. Oh shit! Where did you come from? Hopefully you can be bitten by a zombie and become infected. Then you can be treated instantly with advantage of gradual recovery by sleeping. Very recovery depends on your... Oh god, I need food so bad. Fucking idiot. Racking speed, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Take that now. to heal sprain. I don't want that. I'd rather I stop bleeding and just have an infection we can work around later. some potent vitamins. It's, uh, we need to hydrate ourselves the best we can. Ask you random questions about vacation while you were playing this game. If you want to. Gun rack. Oh my. Call me Lara fucking Croft, baby. Well, that's less than stellar. Got him. Sick. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, thank God. Just eat the flower. Wood bat. Let's go. Antibiotic. Oh, shit. Antibiotic. I meant to say. That's healed up. That's fucking big. Look at the place to stay because we kind of forgot that part. You said start in Plymouth? Yeah. Then work your way back upwards.
Another screwdriver, sick. Daytime at least. Dried fish. Mm. Oh wow, actual flashlight. Good to a shit ton of zombies. Yep. I just wanted to try it. Hatch. Go from here. Oh, it's a clothing store. Resting. I want to keep playing this, but we're supposed to play Spider Mon. It's already midnight. Oh. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it here for this game. But I'm really liking this. Kind of, we're kind of safe in a house right now, anyways. So, play uh an exit sick i'm gonna have to keep playing that i may even play it offline i that's i definitely see the like this this reminds me of um it's another game but it's it's real time not turn based i actually kind of like the turn base in here normally that's not my thing but look i'm a level two rookie survivor now all right we're gonna switch it up Project Zomboid, thank you. I do not remember putting on Electric Wizard. I'm not even mad about it. Alright, Spider Mall time. Just switching over the sources. Okay. Zomboid fucking rules. Yeah, this is this one. So what I was just playing is is almost the same thing. It's just more so. Um, it's just turn based. All right, let's uh start up Spider Mall. Play, restart, subtitles on. Do I have to click this? 
don't know what that means. Let's just play. Suspenseful music, tape machine rattling. Okay, it's working. Oh my god. This is so loud. Mr. Key Rock himself, holy fuck. Welcome in. We are just Ooh. starting Spider Ball and it's very loud. Um, <laughs> stop. I think you're no, about to go to don't be doing heavy footsteps and also door shine. knocking. I don't appreciate it. Oh no. You're about to go to Zell Hell. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh, yep. oh shit. Oh, it pulled a. It pulled a. Play pulled a something. No, where's it? It pulled a devour. Huh. It's a devour. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh. Are yeah. you fucking oh. serious? Fuck that jump scare. I think we discussed that jump scare before. <laughs> Good one, too. Yo, what's up, Tacky Corp? That's a lot of work. I feel like this is just made simulator. With with terrifying puppets. That's a lot of shit to do. Bring Okay, find and replace old rifle in the attic? Bring all the newspapers to the dining table. And find and place stuffed animals beside the baby's crib. Here, it's cleaning, yes. <laughs> well, welcome in, everybody. Hope you're doing swell. Okay, I'll put on some music while I'm sitting here just mumbling. Uh, so I am the juggernaut. You can call me Jug, Jugs, Juggy, whatever. Whatever, you know. Uh, I am a member of the CEOs of Screams. I'm also a member of Channel 13 Har. if you don't know who they are. Check them out on YouTube. Pretty cool shit. Oh, uh, Mr. Key Rock, I love you too. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the mob. Happy to have you. Um, wait, where did the game go? I just put it down. It's gone for now. I'm just talking for a minute. We're just we're just starting the Spider Mall game. Um. So yes, um, I am a 99% of the time a horror stream of 1% other miscellaneous shit. Am I going to spin? For what? The Jugmeister, Juggerman, Juggers, the Jugster. I already did my spin. No, that's not how that works anymore. It's 30 of them equals the extreme wheel spin. We changed this a while ago, Satan. You were here when I changed it. <laughs> God damn it, old man. Um, but yes, we're going to be playing the game shortly. I was drunk, so it doesn't count. Oh, well, okay, I guess. Uh, and then just one last little bit of self-promo. I am running a charity all this month. We call it Jugtober. It's, uh, see some of the wonderful incentives and milestones. That we're currently working on so if you if any of that tickles your fancy there is a tiltify link right in the chat you can also do the qr code in the top left hand corner for you mobile device users uh, obviously only donate what you can if you can uh, i don't want anyone going broke over charity and it's like it's like a wash it's like you've helped one person but another person is hurting that's not helping. <laughs> uh, but anywho, um, even if you can't donate, or if you can, regardless of which way you are, um, please consider sharing this link out uh, all over the interwebs, trying to raise uh, as much money as we can for Hope for the Day, which is a great, great charity. Um, this is our fourth year uh, dedicating the month of October. Uh, every penny made here goes to them. And uh, we're a little over the $400 amount and i'm definitely gonna snooze that fucking ad break piece of shit yes um so for instance the last goal we just hit was the 400 hundred dollar one and that now on thursday means i'm going to be reading my uh short horror story that i wrote back in the my college semester the spring college semester 2010 had to have been had to have been in April because it was right around Metal Fest weekend back when it used to be in April. Anywho, we're gonna go back to playing this game now. 
Um, because we literally just starting it. You, thank you. I, I need to turn that down immediately. <sighs> hold it, hold on a sec. That is, that is horrendous. I had to turn it down for all of us. That is very loud in my ears. It, Sixty-five. That looks good. Doug is groaning. Cool. Key caught you at a good time then. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're both running um, big, big uh, charities this month. So yeah, this is like an FMV nineteen nineties um, horror game, and there's many decisions you can make. And the decisions you make dictates uh, your ending. And uh, I'm worried about this game because it's called Spider Mall. And here we are, and we're on the roof of like an abandoned mall. We're just trying to find our way out of here. Ooh. Maybe we're trying to get in. Dry riser. It's rather that everyone seems to be doing epic stuff this month. This is also the month of my birthday. Fuck yeah, Uncle John. Happy, uh, happy early birthday to you, unless we've already passed it. Why are you trying to get into a mall full of spiders? I'm not trying to. So this guy's basically, um, he's an explorer. He's exploring this, um, mall that's been abandoned for a long time. That's like his thing. He's a thrill seeker. Not till the 15th, and thank you. Oh, nice. Right in the middle. We're in the mall right now. We weren't before. We were on, we scaled up to the roof. And we found a door that was open, so now we're in. But we don't know there's spiders in here. I say we as in the person in the game. We as in the audience now. Alright, I'll be lurking, but I'm going upstairs with Jenna Text when you're ready to rumble. Ah, uh, you got it, buddy. Footsteps clomping. Clomp, 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 clomp. Clack, clack, clack. Eerie building sounds continues. I love the subtitles. Oh my god. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Clearly, there's nothing of great importance here in this abandoned mall. Oh, fuck no, dude. Why is it always fucking mannequins? It's always mannequins. Every fucking time. God damn it. Why are you wearing high heels? I'm assuming it's probably there's like lifted boots. Like it has like the heel. I guess it... Technically, it's not a high heel, but it's definitely like boots with some heels on it. Yep, yeah, uh, security guard. Shut your fucking flashlight off, dude. They're gonna see your flashlight. Oh, 100% gonna hide. I don't want to speak to the guards. They're gonna kick me out. Uh, toilets or store? Probably the toilets, right? Toilets. Go. Those are heels, yo. Always naked female mannequins. Why not a male one with its dong out? Because they're usually like Ken dolls. Get some trainers on, kid. Middle cubicle or end cubicle? Go for the middle, I guess. The end, we don't even know if it's open. Middle's definitely open. 
Fuck it, dude. No. Oi! What are you doing here? Come here. Fuck. That didn't work out well at all. Oh, boy! What are you doing here? Terry Scrap. You had a fight with Terry. You're in a freaking mall. Steal some Ann Jordans. Kick his ass, see best. Remember which one was opened. Yeah, it's clearly he you can't lock the door. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Oh, uh, looks like there's an exit to the left. I'm all about going exits. Might be another way down here. Low, ominous noise. Yo, thanks for the lurk, Jam. Appreciate you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Shit. Oh. Okay. Fuck off you now. Fuck you now. Oh, fuck. They never go Holy fuck, good move. Slick fucking move. Yeah, get him, sea bass. There is an ad break starting. I apologize, everybody. Um, please, please, please don't go anywhere. Actually, you know what? I'm going to snooze it one more time. Fucking time. There we go. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> How in the world? I was like, there's no way. Dude's not hitting 0451. Stairs down or door on the right? Stair three is upper stores. Fire exit down below. I'm gonna need to keep an eye out for this fucking. I mean, I'm just assuming fire exit's the way to go, right? Here we go. Nice. Administration. Bathroom. I wouldn't go in there. Oh. Brother, I am not about to go up in that ceiling. Don't make me. Staff meeting in manager's office this afternoon. Door code is 4321. Please. God. Thanks for the 4321. I think that's more just 100% going up in that ceiling. Nope, we ain't. Okay, let's see if this works. Fuck yeah. Genius. What are we gonna find in the managers the management suite? Maybe some good Werther's candy? A couple dry erase markers. Damn code I got on my luggage. <laughs> so many ceiling tiles missing. <gasps> Fuck shit. That kinda got me too. <laughs> I get it. Don't pick up the fucking phone. What are you doing? We know where you are. I can see you. Yeah? Where are you and your mates? Tweedle dumb and tweedle fuck. You're being pretty cocky for someone who isn't getting out of here anytime soon. Yeah? Well, I am getting out of here actually. 
So why don't you keep your goons out of my way and it'll all be fine. Hmm, tough guy. Mate, you've got no chance of finding me. So I'm going to say goodbye now. I can't imagine we'll be chatting anytime soon. Mm. This game is going to make me physically jump. Oop, there it is. <laughs> Age 21. This mall is fucking huge. I just want to get out now before those tracks go, please. I tell you, this has been a total fucking washout. I say so, bud. Oh, shit. He's dead. 100% dead. Oh, he fuck. I can use this to call his mates. Uh, hello? Fuck here now. He's got one of the radios. Look, listen, your mate. Um, he's in a bad way. I think you should come down here quick. What do you mean? Is there something happened to you there? No, I don't want anything to him, you little twat. Oh my god. Run. <laughs> Hilarious CGI. What the fucking hell was that? Oh god. Oh god Come on, give him pets. You're not running fast enough. Definitely not. I'm gonna call those guns. I'm glad the ad didn't start yet, because that was crazy. I apologize for the ad break coming. Please don't go anywhere. Ooh. Actually, this works out well. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna just give it a. Well, you have eight arms, the more to hug you with, my dear. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, it said it was gonna do an ad break. I guess it's not gonna do one. All right, we're gonna be uh, aggressive. Look, before you fucking start, I had nothing to do with what happened to you, mate. All right, calm down. I believe you. Really? Great, because listen, at this point, I just want to get out of here. I don't know what's going on, and to be honest, I don't really want it. Yeah, well, Moose went down to find Terry, and he called in a minute ago. Ranting and raving about being attacked by something. See, I told you it was real. Look, I'm Mick. What's your name, mate? Um, you can call me X. X? Yeah, as in Explorer Be X. aggressive. Be That's what I'm called when I do this. Oh, there's the ad break. Filming inside That's empty buildings. God damn. Yeah. What's the fucking point of that? You wouldn't understand. I mean, why is Moose called Moose? Well, it's a funny story. Okay. <laughs> and then his girlfriend heard us and we had to pretend we were talking about him. Wow, you're a bunch of charmers, aren't you? Fire exit only. What the fuck? It's not even chained together. Do you not think it's a bit weird that every outside door I've tried has either been locked or chained up? Yeah, it's the same on our level. I can't get an outside phone line working either. Look, there's something weird going on here. Yeah, quarantine. We need to work together if we're going to get out of here alive. Agreed. X, it's Mick again. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What is it? Listen, all the outside phone lines are down. I've never had that happen before. That doesn't sound good. That's not all. You were right about the doors. The mechanisms seem to have locked shut by themselves. The system can be set remotely. No hardware store in that mall? Bull cutters are a thing. Big crowbar. All it would do is keep us here, inside. Why would anyone want to do that? 
shit. I agree on the crowbar okay. bit. What about the doors that don't have remote locking systems? Yeah, I've tried a couple of them, but they sound chained up on the outside. Oh, they're chained on the outside. Yeah, that would that would do it. Have you got any ideas how we can get out of this place? I'm gonna try and get the radio working outside the building. See if I can get help over from head office. Well, how did I get on the how roof before? How are you gonna get before? the radio outside, genius? Right, a bit less sarcasm, and I'll tell you. Go on. Right, if I can get some step ladders, I can get to a skylight on the roof. We can try it from there. And let me guess, you want me to get the step ladders? Oh, I will, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I've got to stay here in the guard room and keep an eye on things. Otherwise, I I'd go myself. You, you know how it is. Yeah. What yeah, 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 yeah. They're in a storeroom on level one. Give me a call when you're down there, and I'll tell you where to go. Okay, I'm on my way. Did he also hinge on the outset? Yeah, that was it's a big point. Can you hear me, X? X Those mannequins can you hear move. Me? X. Yeah, I can hear you. I just spoke to Moose again. Look, he's in a bad way. He's down on level two. Can you get him and bring him back up here? After what that twat did? Why would I go and help him? I want to get out of here. Not be Moose's fucking carer for the night. Oh, that's fair enough. Sounds in a bad way. Uh, Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about the silly old ad breaks. Get the ladders or rescue moose. Let's rescue moose. Fuck Go it. Go left at the end of that corridor, and he should be there. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened to you? He's a big motherfucking spider! I told oh, you shit. it was real. See the center B seems to come and get me. Yeah! Suggest you shut your fucking mouth or else I'll leave you here. Come on, Nobby. Come on. Uh, dude, bring your fucking teeth, bit, dude. Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, this is a bad idea. Stop whinging. Stairs. Don't ever rely on you Can't rely on the elevator. Yeah, carry the bait with him. Yeah, I wouldn't carry a new bastard. Uh oh. We're gonna be fucking spider food! Shut the fuck up. Don't move! Um, uh, uh. I'm sorry, Moose. What are you doing? I can't. Come back. Sorry. You fucking bastard. <laughs> I'd rather him than me. So am I. Thank you for the biddies. Every man for himself. He left Moose behind on the stairs. Oh, hi. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to find Mick. So much. Oh, thank you. Yes, 29 months. Holy shit. Was that? Yeah, that's me. Did you find Moose? No, I don't think we'll, uh, he's we'll do a spin for you sh uh, shortly. We need to squash that fucking bug. Right. I think I know what we need for that. Yeah, what's that? So, so many months, all the months. The old 
Get us to the way. And we can burn it out of the building. Yeah, sounds good. How are we gonna get out? We need to get onto those ladders. But first, it's time for a bit of pest control. Okay. I'm on it. I'll be back. How, how, why are we only worried about one spider? If there's one spider, there has to be more. Put this way to the storeroom in through unit 18. You should see it on your right in a minute. Played that screech tree? Oh shit. Fuck, I'm not going that way. Yeah, nope. Fuck that. Motherfucker, I will go Mick. around. Mick! Yeah, did you find it? Yes. Right way. This spider's hanging out. I need another way to get down there. Okay. Thank you, Soma, for the videos. Okay. There are two ways down, left or right. Yeah, but which one's better? I recommend you go left. Might be safer. I mean, he works in this building more than I do, so I'll take his word for it. When you get it. to the next level, take the door on the right. Yep, got it. He's Spanish. Thank you so much. I did not hear that gunshot, but thank you for the pities. Is this a game or an ARG? I don't know what ARG stands for. Augmented reality game? It's supposed to be like a choose your adventure. It's supposed to be like a choose your adventure thing. Thank you for the fart. I can't remember the way back to the garden. All these corridors are fucking insane. Fuck. Gotta be the right way. Hopefully. This looks right. I remember this hallway. Oh, well done for making it back. Fuck yeah, yeah. But it seems to be me taking all the risks right now. You're doing great. Alternate reality yeah. game. You'll need this. A lighter. Perfect. Right. And yes. Let's find that fucking spider and see if these fire bombs work. I would I would say so then, yeah. We're just making decisions. has a sprinkler system, doesn't it? Yeah. So, what happens when I throw this thing at it? The sprinklers will get switched off, but it should still give you enough time to scare that thing off and get back up here. But I'll have more time if it's switched off. 
about. Yeah, you want to set fire to the old fucking building. You don't want to do that, do you? Turn it off. Fuck this whole building. Stop the list working on this side of the building. I just fucking hope Mick knows what he's doing. I haven't fucked it up. Uh. I mean, it's all bricks down here. We'll be fine. Step ladders. Nice. Go, go, go. How is this gonna go? Oh, fuck! Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck was that? Yeah. We gotta get out of this place. We're, we're quarantined 100% in this building. Right, we've got him. How are we going to get up to the roof? Yeah, Bob. It's not going to work. I've already checked. So what's the point of having these, then? Let me show you. <laughs> You're fucking no, hilarious. No fucking way I'm going in there. Listen. Leave me out. You can down to the basement. Then you can activate the power to the lift on the other side of the building. Go on. Oh, this is actually a chemical which makes bricks flammable. It is also a frequently used cleaning chemical. This has been fun. False. This with shuffle. Oh, fuck it. Let's just do it. Okay. For the content. Thanks. I'm claustrophobic. Hey, good luck. I'm gonna fucking need it. Right, uh, right, I guess. At last. Okay. 
in a parking garage. Okay, Mick, I'm down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Great. Thanks for the bits, Trudy. It's got a sign up that says plant room. We are. X, X, are you there? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in the engine room. There are people opening one of the upper exits to the roof. It has about six, it got booms. What should I do? Uh, stick to the plan. Left. Wait, why is this already here? What am I saying yes or no to? Okay, got that. Coming right now. What? I never got to read that. What does this mean? Left, green, green. Right, red, and red. Hopefully the other lift's working now. It's not. I better get out there. I'm going to the shutter. <sighs> Fuck it. <sighs> Just lifted enough, just enough. Oh god, dude, lift the fucking thing. Leave. Roll underneath, roll underneath. Brother. Roll underneath. <laughs> God damn it. Situation report. Terry dead. Moose dead. Nick dead, eaten by test subject. No. Explorer X in custody, currently having brain wipe operation. Oh my god. One Rushmore lab operative was killed during the incident. Test subjects tested by agents and returned to BioLab 10. Despite burn injuries, he reports feeling much better now, no longer hungry. At least we'll be able to go on with our life. Definitely a lot of um, a lot of replayability here for sure. Gotta get all of the endings because there are 20. That's the good ending, right? Uh, all it says is X was caught by Rushmore biomedical agents. What did I miss? Um, Just skip through. I think it's good. Okay, it's, it's over. Uh, so, we ended up escaping the mall. All three security guards died. Someone from this other organization called Rushmore, um, 
Everyone that's there in a hazmat suit was on fire. They died. We escaped. And we were um, grabbed by other men in hazmat suits, got drugged, and then eventually went through a brain wipe operation. And uh, we forgot everything. Uh, but yeah, there are 27 achievements in this game. And I have five. I had a fight with Terry. I left Moose behind on the stairs, which only 6.3% of people actually have got. Interesting. Uh, beating claustrophobia. Was, uh, X bravely went through the air vent, and then X was caught by Rushmore biomedical agents. There's a few more here. None of them are hidden. There's X hid in the toilet. Hey, I technically hid in the toilet, but I guess I hid in the wrong one. Early doors you got found. Uh... Going down, Moose got dragged out the lift. Ball lurker, X hit in the store. Great timing, Mick. The spider grabs Moose in the storeroom. <laughs> There's a bloodbath. Two Rushmore biomedical operatives died during the night. Two of them? Wow. Get Moose back to the guard room. X got caught by the spider. We found Moose in the lair. Threw up. Explorer X escaped the mall. So there actually there must be a way out where you don't get um grabbed by the biomedical team. You ignored the phone call? Yeah, why well, I wanted to ignore it. You left the sprinklers on. X firebombed the spider. X was eaten by the spider. X and Mick escaped the mall. X, Mick and Moose escaped the mall. X got infected. You lied to Mick. Uh, X was eaten alive. Couldn't be bothered to save Moose. And you let Moose die. Huh. I mean, I technically let him die. I left. So yeah, um, I would play another one, but they're about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, and we're, we're pretty much a quarter of one here, and I'm just kinda, I'm happy with it. I wish I, wish I had more time to play this, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll come back and try to get some other endings too uh, in the future. However, that's gonna do it for tonight. I gotta find someone to raid to. Uh, thank you all for being here. Appreciate everybody. Oh, well, we can't leave yet. I owe a wheel spin for Soma. That's why. 13 minutes to do something to make me miserable. Ah, good. It's the Verde hot sauce. I have been saved. Okay. Let's uh, flip back over here. All right. This is the Gonzo Verde hot sauce. It has Sereno chilies, tomatillos, yellow seven pot chilies, roasted onion, garlic, cilantro, vinegar, fresh lime juice, and spices. Rated two out of three, hot. Uh, let me do another jostle. Okay. Here's everybody. Ooh. Another very tasty hot sauce with a good amount of heat. So you know it's a hot sauce for sure. Ooh. Thank you again, Soma. 29 month subscription. That's fucking wild. Um, let's see. I'm going to avoid um, rating anyone that's playing the Silent Hill 2 remake because I do want to play it and I don't want to be spoiled by anything because I'm assuming it's going to be like Resident Evil 2 where it's like a reimagining of the original story and I don't want to like obviously fuck anything up there. So that takes a good chunk of people off. <laughs> um, however, uh, Fright Against Cancer is on playing Unholy. Uh, that's actually run by Gothapire, one of our dear friends of the channel. And uh, she actually rated us uh, last stream from the Fright Against Cancer. So we're, we're going to return the favor. And uh, I believe she is raising money. Um...
She's raining money for, I believe it's St. Jude's. Yes, it's for St. Jude's. Hey, St. Jude's. Look at that. Um, so she is currently at $500.09 raised. The goal is $750. So it's uh, getting pretty close there, which is pretty cool. Um, she's currently playing Unholy. I have not played that game. I've heard mixed reviews on it. Maybe in the future we'll be playing it. See what happens. Um, but yeah, thank you all. I'll make sure to go through all the analytics tomorrow and um, all the bits and subs and all of that. I'll make sure that money gets paid into Tiltify and then I'll put out an update tomorrow on um, where we stand in terms of uh, the total. Uh, in addition, We'll be back on Thursday night playing Hollow Body. I am reading my short horror story that I wrote uh, 14 years, well, over a little over 14 years ago. Actually, yeah, it's almost like almost 15 years ago. What the fuck, dude? That, that hurt to even like, just think about. Okay. Anyways. Um, oh. <laughs> um. We'll be back uh, also on Friday during the day, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be on from 1 to 5. Um, we're going to be playing Trenches. Uh, that was our $100 milestone. We reached that in the first stream. So uh, I figured we'd do that first and get going with it. Um, I'm going to start asking uh, a couple other streamers if they want in on the uh, Among Us community stream next next week um and then obviously whatever spaces we have left anyone from the community can also join stretches about world war one yes we played it um it'll be two years ago in january it's not a life simulator no but i'm pretty sure there is a scene where like a singular little like insect that crawls on your face and it scared the shit out of me <laughs> outro is gonna kill me all right um so that's gonna be friday and then of course sunday alan wake to be back in green sim mm, dishes so yeah pretty straightforward um friday during the day is obviously something that's different um it's probably going to be one of the last streams we do during the daytime for a while um and i say that with all good things uh because I officially start my new job on Monday. Um, I got my laptop set up over here, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna be working with Polish Hoax again. Uh, he's actually gonna be my mentor as I start there. He's gonna get me up to speed with everything. Thank you, Satan. Trench foot experience. He was talking about trenches and artillery in World War One, but really it was lice and typhoid fever. Ugh. Um, uh but yeah I, i'm starting on a monday the good news about it is that i'm not in support uh for the first time in my career i'm finally getting the fuck out oh my god wheeler what's up take it easy tree appreciate you buddy i did i got it's it took a while <laughs> throw a grenade be. throw a grenade if you got one what a wuss! What a wuss! I did damage. There, there are probably one or two shots. I'm gonna see if this works. Doing something dumb! Yeah! Where? Jump, oh, no. Drop down! Drop down! <laughs> that was sick! That, that was, was incredible! Cool. He's oh. he's dropped. That means someone else. Oh, we got more Someone's guys. Still alive. The... Still alive. That's my corpse. Feel free to take my 8x. <laughs> Flip is old. I was yo corn. What's up? Um, so I played two different games today. Um, Breaking into the prison. Bring your Elysium free PUBG clone. Nice. Uh, the first Calling game we played was lines. real good. Terminus Zombie Survivors. Here, it's like it's look like, at them um, all. Yeah. Was it Planet Zomboid? <laughs> this never gets uh, old. Project, Project Zomboid. Destroy him. <laughs> um, so it's a roguelike zombie game, top down.
but it's actually turn based. Um, and then Spider Mall is Spider Mall is fun. It's real simple. It's an FMV um, game. I th and what did what did Tree call it? Um, the alternate environment game. So essentially, it's just this whole. Uh, you're a character that just explores abandoned areas. You go an ARG. That's what it was. Sorry. So every you you're a guy that just goes around like exploring abandoned buildings. You go into this mall, and um, there's some security guards that have been watching it. And uh, well, it's not just you and the security guards in there. I think Wheeler would like it. It's very very basic. There's no puzzles or anything. It's like a choose your adventure. Then there's a jump scare, and you go, Arg, I did get jump scared once. That's on my list this month? Yeah, dude, you should play it. It was pretty good. It's like, there's nothing crazy. It's you're, you're clicking on options and, um, and just watching the story unfold. And it's, it's, a, it's a little corny, too, which is nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're actually, uh, so Wheeler, I, I saw you were doing some art. I'm assuming that means you were working on some photos. Um, hope that went well. We're actually, uh, right in the process of jumping over to a friend of the streams. Uh, it's Gothapire, but she is on her Fright Against Cancer, um, channel, which is specifically her channel that she uses for charity drives. Editing Lorna Shore picks, fuck yeah. Um... And she's playing the game called Unholy. Uh, and she's currently raising money for um, St. Jude's. St. Jude's. Uh, for the Fright Against Cancer 2024 drive. Her goal is $750. She's currently just over $500 at the $500.09 mark. So um, I wanted to... Keep all the love going. I mean, we, we got a raid from Wheeler, who's Charity247365, coming into a Jugtober stream. And now we're going to go over to Fright Against Cancer. Going to keep that train on moving. Um, Yeah, I'll be back on Thursday with more fun hollow body and reading my short horror story. Wait, Gothi is Fright for Cancer? Yeah, she's the founder. It took me a while to figure that out, too. <laughs> to be honest um let me toss up the raid stuff oh actually i'll let you all know real quick if you haven't been here during jugtober yet you can see here on the sc screen right, right there you got all your incentives and the milestones down there uh so keep that in mind obviously you can donate at any point in time it doesn't have to be during stream um and if you'd like to keep the site handy, there's the QR code in the top left-hand corner. You can just scan that with any mobile device. And there's also a link over in chat, uh, which shout out to Heavy Hand Swings Fixing for me because for some reason in my chat, URL was fine. But that uh, that silly parenthesis was too close to something. Where's the tattoo stretch goal? Well, we're, I'm still waiting to hear back from Chaos. Chaos has been going through with a lot of personal stuff. Um, I gotta get my first one done, but, uh, the stretch goal is for $5,000, which is our total raised in the, over the course of three years, mind you. You need a twisted tattoo? Yeah, like a hole in my head I do. <laughs> um, so if we're able to match the last three years in just this year, I will have, I will shave my beard live on stream. Which I haven't, I've had a beard since 2011. Um, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get the raid messages up for everybody. How much to shave half your beard live on stream? What the hell's wrong with you? I don't have a price for that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, you can see the two raid messages at the top of that big blurp. Um, the top one is for subscribers. If you're a subscriber, go ahead and use that for a raid message. Otherwise, you can use this uh, the one beneath that with the pickaxe that says raid or any other 
emotes you happen to have. It's all good here. Yeah, now the gears are turning. Let us know the price. No. Um, it's for charity. Stop it. And now also, um, so uh, if you want to be an absolute super cool fucking member of the Jug Mob, consider uh, adding, following, subscribing, all the free terminologies on these different platforms. Um, on YouTube, we post up a Monday, Wednesday, Friday with VODs directly downloaded right from Twitch and tossed right up with minimal editing. Uh, also, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I post up a YouTube short. Uh, if you prefer your short form content being on TikTok, guess what? It's over there too. Posted up same day, same time. Oh my goodness. Boys. Boys with a fucking hundo donation. Holy shit, dude. Thank you. Um, so that unlocked for us um the discounted sound alert stream. So I'll be planning that out sometime this month. I don't want to have it wait too long. We will do it randomly. Um, holy shit. Thank you so much. And uh, let me real quick, because I don't have the fucking Tiltify page open at the moment. I just want to see what messages you had there and what, um, what rewards you may have selected. Gave your butt hair for charity? That's, that's absurd. What? Why? Your cow workers will never know. No rewards selected. Just straight up 100 bucks from Kois. Thank you so much, Kois. I appreciate you, my friend. That was very kind of you. Um, holy smokes. We are at now. You could be so smooth. Stop. <laughs> Dolphin smooth. Uh, so, that, so if you think about it, right now, this is the end of the third stream for Jugtober. Um, only the start of the second week of October. And we're all, we're 10% of the way to the stretch goal. <laughs> the next goal up is at 600, which will unlock the Jackbox Party Games community stream. Um, every time we've done one, they've been fucking hilarious. So I hope we get there. Um... I have a feeling it's 700 again. Oh, 700 is scrutinized. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a, uh, another scrutinized stream. The first game I ever streamed on, on any platform. And then 800 bucks, we unlock the, uh, the cosplay stream of me as an Oktoberfest goer. Uh, 900, we changed the limits on the fake raid, and then a thousand is embarrassing childhood photos. Those are what's left of the hundred dollar incentive increments. After that, they jump, um, every $250 up to 2000, then a, th uh, then 500, 500 again to 3000, and then 2000 up to get to five. You must reach the jugger hosen. Yes, <laughs> jugger hosen. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I love Ohm, but I'm not feeling it. Why can I not skip? God damn it. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> uh, all right. So I, I got all everything there with um, YouTube and TikTok. Um, so the last two, then we'll get out of here. Uh, Twitter, it's weird. Come hang out. Uh, I I cause problems. <laughs> Come watch me cause problems. And then last but not least, Discord, our home away from home. All these community streams, the Among Us one, the Jackbox one. You got to be in there to join the, friend, the, the fun here. So might as well, if you haven't joined, get in there. Uh, we're trying to reach 200. We're sitting the high 180 number right now, I think. Um, we also have our meme channels. We have uh, we'll watch wrestling in there. Uh, the question of the day bot is always a good time. So uh, yeah, if, if you want to come into a nice low key Discord server uh, and just be able to voice your opinions on the channel, give feedback, uh, and really get the most out of your Jugma membership, then uh, 
that's the way to do it. But uh, yeah, that's that is gonna do it for tonight. We are gonna go send this over to um, Fright Against Cancer, aka Gothapire, and she is raising money for Fright Against Cancer 2024 at the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And I'm kicking off the raid now. So when we get over there, show her some love. Uh, and if you're digging the content, definitely hit a follow on there. Um, good night, Satan. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you all for being here. Um, again, this is this is my favorite time to stream the entire year. Uh, getting to see this community come together and do what they do best is honestly it's just it's astounding. So so thank you all. And even if you're just here lurking, thank you for being here and being part of this ride. Um, I'm going to go fucking hang out. I'm going to relax. I have the rest of this week to uh, get myself ready for next week, which will be a huge step forward in my career, I, I think. Uh, moving away from break fix or reactionary support, moving into a consultant role on a proactive standpoint. So it'll be interesting. Uh, but the good news is, no on call. Yes. <laughs> Won't have any of those problems ever again. All right. I'm out. You all have a great night, and I will catch you on Thursday. Uh, bye bye.